realize you were here again. You must be back for some more spooky, scary stories. Did you enjoy the first one? I hope so. Remember, if you have some to share, make sure you're sharing them down in the comments. I love reading all your comments. Well, I do have a doozy of a story for you. I don't know if you would consider it uh, more scary or not, but you're definitely in for a ride and I hope you enjoy. All right, this one is a little bit more of an older story than some of my others. Back when I was still in high school, there was something very scary that ended up happening to me and it honestly terrified me and I cannot disprove its happenings to this day. This story is about a dream and about other people's dreams and about just whatever you want to call it, sleep paralysis, ghost spirits, whatever it may be. So there was one night that I remember I had just the one of the scariest dreams that I still vividly remember to this day. I, uh, it was just a weird night. I remember being super tired and I, I went to sleep. And at the time, my little dog Rascal would sleep on my bed. So in the middle of the night, I remember just all of a sudden waking up and looking down at my dog at the foot of my bed and he's fast asleep. And then I look up only to see a, a woman with a veil of white over her face and she has a long flowing white gown as well I don't know if it was a wedding gown or a sleeping gown or she just was haunting looking she had pitch black hair under the veil you could see just a slight bit of dark features underneath and she just was like glowing at the foot of my bed I was just so terrified. I was sitting there, like I looked down again at my dog and he doesn't even, he doesn't know. He's fast asleep and I'm just horrified. I couldn't move, I couldn't, I couldn't speak. I, I couldn't do anything but just stare at this woman that is standing at the foot of my bed. And so I, I all of a sudden, I just completely pass out. I just fall backwards and I remember waking up again in the morning and vividly remembering what happened. It was like I just passed out like I don't know if it like from fear, from exhaustion. I was so terrified. So I proceed to go to school that day. I, I told my parents about it in the morning and was talking about it and then I was later sitting at lunch with one of my friends and I was telling her about this horrible dream that I had had and she just has this puzzled look upon her face like the whole time and she's like did you did you already tell me that this morning and I'm like no I you're the you're the only person I've told like at school like nobody else knows and she's like are you sure like I swear I have heard like the identical story and I'm like, no, like you're the only person I've, I've told. And so come to find out that my friend had told her earlier that day about a dream that she had had that was identical. So I end up at talking to this other friend and I'm like, okay like i think they're joking with me right like i think they're they're pulling a prank they're they're making fun of me whatever and she could tell me details of the story that i i hadn't told my friend and so to this day we are not able to debunk it like i she swore up and down that she had that dream it was the same with her dog not noticing it, passing out after, waking up to a woman, like the woman looked the same, everything. And I can't, I can't explain it. Super creepy. Such a weird situation. Like the other, the girl that I told originally, she doesn't deny it to this day. She says that the other girl told her about it before me. And the other girl still says she had that dream. So take it as you will. But that was super creepy. The fact that my friend and I had the same 
dream. And we hadn't been watching scary movies or anything. I have never seen someone that looks like that figure of that woman or anything. I don't know how it's possible, but we had the same dream. I hope you guys are enjoying the spoopiest stories. Make sure that you hit that bell button if you want to keep up to date and be ready for the next spoopy story I have for you all. If you guys have any scary stories yourself, make sure you leave them in the comments so that all of us uh, can share our scary moments together. And I hope that you're getting ready for Halloween. Make sure you drop a like, subscribe, hit the bell button, and get ready for the next scary stories I have in store for you.